I'm chopping up potatoes. I'm gonna saute that in the bacon grease. I'm gonna chop them up about that size. Those are all diced up. I'm going to soak them in some water to kind of help get rid of some of that starch. And then we'll saute it like I mentioned. I'm gonna add this to my little breakfast scramble. I'm cooking up that breakfast sausage. Got that all cooked up. Well, you wanna season it up however you like and you know, cook it down some. I personally like my peppers to be a little softer and I find that when you just bake them, they still keep the crunch. So I'm gonna just saute this for a few more minutes before I remove it and get ready to add it into my bacon dish. I'm meal prepping before my hair appointment, so don't judge me. But I'm about to go ahead and mix up about four eggs and a half cup of egg whites into a bowl because it is gonna be an egg-based casserole. If you don't like eggs, you can actually use the potatoes and the sausage and put the veggies on top and still have a breakfast combo. No dairy. So I put some melted butter in the pan and rub it across the sides and now I'm gonna show you all how I add everything. First thing I'm gonna add is the eggs. So I'll make sure that spreads across evenly and then I'm going to go ahead and add in some sausage. Just sprinkle it across evenly. And you can add turkey sausage, you can add uh, like two strips of bacon crumbled up, it's really up to you. Just gonna add in your sausage. Try to make sure it's all over your casserole. And then lastly, you're gonna add in those veggies that you sauteed up. And you wanna try to get that in there evenly as well because you want each area of your casserole to have each ingredient. So, I like using this small bacon dish because it's a little easier to cook the ingredients and you know, get them in there. And then you just, you can use your spoon once you've gotten everything in and just kind of distribute it around. And keep in mind that when you bake it, it's gonna rise up. Say we could cut that down the middle like that and then down the middle like that and that's four even servings or you could just do a skinny one two and then down the middle and you'll have three on each side i'll go ahead and pop that in the oven for between 20 and 25 minutes i'm gonna eyeball it because i don't want them to get dry you have to keep in mind like when you bring it to eat at work or just in the next morning you're gonna have to warm it up so that's how it would look and i still have a whole bunch of sausage left that someone else can use for something else Saturday. so i'm like I, I got two games so you need your practice i need my practices to get ready for these games hello coach hey hello he's helping make dinner I did some breakfast meal prep earlier. We're back from our hair appointment. I got braids and twists. <laughs> Shout out to my stylist, K Designs. Go support her business if you're in Metro Atlanta on the west side um, of Atlanta. Y'all. Can't believe the weekend is almost over again. We getting ripped off with time. Something ain't, the time ain't time and the math ain't mathing. I need to go edit my vlog or I'm not gonna have a vlog for tomorrow. So I'm gonna go do that. <sighs> so pork chops, Italian style green beans and rice for dinner or what are we That's doing? That's what I'm thinking. Okay. And then we got the got steaks in there. You 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 want to do the strip steaks for dinner tomorrow night? That's what I was thinking, especially if we play tomorrow. 
stir stay, so I don't be the easiest thing to make because that don't take long. Okay. And then what will we do for dinner Wednesday? Shrimp pasta that day? Yeah, probably. <coughs> Okay. Okay. Well, we figuring it out, y'all. Y'all have to meal prep every day or every week. Like, full out, especially if you don't know what you want. Thursday, 6.30, feel 8. Come ready to work, fellas. Come ready to work. Saturday, we will meet 12 noon at Boundary Water. We play at Boundary this Saturday. We'll be on feel 8 for both games. Thank you, coach. Great game. So, I would like to be there by 12. So we have enough time to get ready because we're going to have a long day ahead of us. And we got to get hydrated and make sure we're going to be in good spirits. All right, I said, uh... No, no just sorry. No, sorry. No, sorry. No, sorry. sorry. Oh, so, yesterday was the first baseball game of the season. Yeah. And the boys won... The game was 13 to seven. Yeah. Um, a few weeks ago, you were on my channel talking about your opportunity to coach and um, how it had been something you really wanted for a while. And I haven't really heard any updates since then. So I just um, wanted to get your thoughts about how you felt the first game went and just how the experience coaching has been overall. Um, maybe how it's different because you were helping coach with basketball as an assistant coach, but yeah. now you're the head coach for the baseball team. Oh, uh, yeah. So we had our first game yesterday. Uh, we played against the Fair Play Scrappers, 113 to 7. I think just about everybody got on base. Uh, and if not, I, I think you, yeah, everybody had a chance to run the bases. Everybody had a chance to score, I believe. Um, rewarding day. Rewarding day. Uh, very stressful at times. Definitely draining. I was very tired yesterday after the game. But rewarding because, like I had said, I wanted it since I was 10 years old. I wanted to have my own baseball team to coach. Um, and at times, it, it gets frustrating. <laughs> and practice is... Uh, practice can be strenuous some days just because of the kid's age and their attention span and some of them don't know if they love the game some of them are, are playing because it's an opportunity to play and I can appreciate that because kids don't learn what they like until they learn what they dislike sometimes so I get it um, and as a coach it was rewarding I still feel like it's a lot of stuff for us to fix um, and I'm a perfectionist when it comes to baseball so even if we have a good game, if I find a mistake, I'm going to fix it. That's, that's just me as a coach. Um, it's different because I am the head coach now, so a lot of stuff for game planning, practice planning, position placement, the whole nine, that's for me to worry about. And um, I literally, that is on my mind <laughs> a lot, like seven days a week. I am constantly trying to figure out how to get the best lineup we can possibly have in order to win. Um, I like winning. Sorry. I do. I like winning. I like my players to develop more. But at the end of the season, I still want to hold a trophy that we earned. Like I said, I won this for a while. It's on my vision board. Monday was just different. It was a lot of nerves because, like I said, I'm a perfectionist. So as a coach, I want to put our best product on the field. Um, I want I wanted the kids to look like we were prepared, like we were practicing. Um, I'm very much so a, a stickler about how we run practice, getting stuff done, make sure all the kids get a chance to do the drills, figuring out who can do what drills better. Um, if I have extra help out there, which I normally do, Coach Rick has been extremely helpful. Just having to help to go through certain stuff with the kids, figuring out who's where. Um, and maybe what's the learning curve. But going into Thursday, I have an idea how I want to run practice because that's the next time we practice. And we play two games on Saturday. And um, I've been thinking about that since we finished the game yesterday. I'm just trying to figure out how I can get everybody some rest and, and stay productive 
so we can pick up two more wins. I would really like to win a World Series title this year as a first-year coach. I like to see all my players get better, and at the end of the year, I, no matter where they're holding it, I would like to be the final team standing in the eight and under division in the country. I want to be the best, and I'm gonna push these kids to be the best. We got a, we got ten more games before playoffs. I want to go to the playoffs. I want to win, um, and I want the kids to have fun. They celebrated a lot yesterday. <laughs> They were jumping up and down and hugging and high-fiving, and that made me feel really good because they, now they know what it feels like to win. My hope is that they get a taste for winning and they don't let it go. My hope is that they keep holding each other accountable in practice and doing what we need to do, and that, that just shows at the end of the season that as far as the United States goes, we're the best. That That's my goal. I will be <laughs> working on everything for the rest of the week, um, I'll probably watch film on Sunday of both games and take notes and get ready for practice on Monday. And, uh, yeah, just just kind of get that out the way. I mean, I'll have a break coming up, I think, after March 30th. Uh, i have a break for probably about a week for spring break and then get the kids back that Monday and we'll be back at it. But, um, hey, man, if you're along for the ride, please follow along. And if not, just send up some prayers for us. Dang. I can't believe it. It went up some more. I don't even know if y'all saw it. I don't even want to say it that way. It said 250, y'all. So I weighed in this morning because I felt lighter. Um. <laughs> And the scale said, I think not. <laughs> I'm going to try again later. I didn't even save it because I was just like, ain't no way. But I don't know. I haven't eaten some Girl Scout cookies before bed. Last night, I had some strip steak, a salad, and some green beans for dinner. And it was so good. But, yeah. <sighs> it's all right. We got to keep going. Got to keep going. Happy Wednesday, y'all. I'll check in later. Tonight, I did a kickboxing class, and it kicked my butt. I actually walked out 10 minutes early because I refused to do burpees after 50 minutes of intense movement, squats, lunges, kicks, punches, jab, jab, uppercut. It was fun, but your girl is tired, so I'm going to go ahead and eat my food. I'm going to stretch real good shower and get ready for bed but i just wanted to check in with y'all on wednesday and let y'all know that i did make it to the gym today tomorrow i'm not sure if i'm gonna make it or not um saya has practice and they have two games back to back on saturday so i may actually miss out on the gym to go to the practice so i can kind of see what's going on because i haven't really been at the practices for baseball like i've been with basketball because I've been back in the gym. Just wanted to check in with y'all. I will talk to y'all tomorrow. Happy okay. bought us wings. So we eating taco mix. Oven roasted. It's Friday. I'm so happy. Friday is my favorite day of the week. Good morning. My cycle started yesterday, so no more weigh-ins in this week's video, but I just wanted to check in and let y'all know. For breakfast, I'm eating the remainder of my little egg casserole. So good. 10 out of 10 recommend making like an egg dish, baking it, and having four to five servings because it will help make your work week easier not having to actually cook a breakfast every day or slice avocados for toast or you know cook omelets you know every two days the night before like that's a really good four or five day thing and i really will be running that back with different toppings and stuff um my stomach is hurting i'm gonna eat that and take a ibuprofen 800 because these cramps are on 10 i slept with the heating pad in my back and my tummy 
back and forth throughout the night because it was really uncomfortable. But it is my last day of work week. I'm about to get started. Josiah is supposed to have his second and third baseball game tomorrow. However, it is supposed to rain all day today. So they might get rained out, which is exactly what happened last Saturday. I'm over snacks. I had got some chips, some bottled waters, and some soft granola bars to bring the kids. And I planned on going to get some halos to put in there as well. But if we get rained out, we're going to have to wait and see when games two and three will be. Because um, if they're not tomorrow, they might try to make it up literally next week. That's what happened. This Monday it worked out because Josiah didn't have school. Um, it was a teacher work day, and so our whole county was out of school. And so we were able to do it on a Monday. But Monday at 6 on a day when I work is not going to work. <laughs> Y'all, don't judge me. But you remember that prayer and vision board? Not the fly sweater sitting in the middle of it. I'm sure my child has something to do with that. But it's still sitting over here. And since the beginning of the year started, I have some different focuses and goals. I'm thinking about returning to school to get my master's or returning to school to get a certification in marketing or something to add to my resume and my skill set so that I can prepare for my next role. And so um, I've been doing some research. I actually contacted the director at my alma mater regarding the MSL program, which is a Master's of Strategic Leadership Development. And I reached out about the certification because he's the contact for both of those to kind of better understand like what the certificate does and some information about it. So there is an open house at my alma mater tomorrow. I might go. It starts at 8.30 and it ends at 1. If that game gets canceled, I'm probably going to go up there and see if I can talk to somebody within the master's program and just get some more insight about what to expect. Um, the master's program would be about $12,000. I can get tuition reimbursement for it, but I also found out that I can get tuition reimbursement for the certification. And there's a certification in marketing at KSU, Kennesaw State University, and there's one at my alma mater, which is Clayton State University. And the one at Kennesaw State is $2,250. I'm pretty certain Clayton State's will be cheaper because it looked like it was less courses in theirs. So I could pay that out of pocket and get reimbursed for 50%. Not too bad. And it's um, 10 weeks instead of it being 18 months. Not to say I wouldn't get my master's because the master's programs that I'm looking at are completely virtual, but it's a lower lift. I could probably truck through it this spring and by summer be done with the certification just to have something added in 2024. And then in 2025, you know, if I want to go ahead and like be working on a master's, I can do that too, if needed. But I say that to say, like, that's where I'm at this week. Happy I made it to the gym twice. I didn't make it Monday because Josiah's game was scheduled on my day where I go cycle. So I feel like I want to go to the gym either tonight after work or tomorrow morning and just walk the treadmill. But we'll see how the day ends up going. I'm eating leftover pork with leftover steak, avocado and tomatoes. There's also some sauteed mushrooms and peppers, and I'm going to add that lettuce. And that is going to be my lunch today, y'all. I'm trying to do right by my body as best as possible. But let me say, y'all, if I have a craving for a cookie, I'm going to eat it. So it's all about balance. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. <laughs> when you can't take your family nowhere because they sitting here slap boxing in the middle of the store. <laughs> it ain't even Josiah this time. It's Dez. Look, look at this. <laughs> Terrible. Happy Saturday, y'all. We're off to an early start. Um, I took my husband to urgent care this morning because when we were out shopping last night, he fell in the store and hit his head. Um, it was a little scary, I'm not gonna lie. He's all right. We went to the doctor, you know, they checked him out, and he's good. So this morning, once we got through doing that, we went and got some stuff for today's double header. And um, we're about to get ready for that. 
I just got through packing the snack bags with Josiah. I'm on snack duty today. And my husband bought a bunch of sandwich stuff since we have two games back to back. Um, but yeah, I'm about to rest a little bit. I didn't get much sleep last night. I was just worried, you know, hoping my husband didn't get a concussion because he kind of, like, I don't know if he got overheated, dehydrated in the store, but yeah. Um, gotta come get them talking. Then I'm gonna take me a little 20 or 30 minute nap because I'm a little tired. So for their snack, they have um, chips, orange, water, and a granola bar. Then we have the lunch meat and stuff inside that Publix bag and, and all the leftover water. We're gonna have a cooler to keep that stuff cold because it's gonna be pretty warm out there today. Hubby's over here cleaning out the cooler. Clean out, I'm about to wipe up the floor. Go take it downstairs for a little ice, put the meat and stuff in it. And whatever else needs to go in there so we can get ready. Just hoping for a good day today. Uh, really want the kids to stay focused because we are gonna have a long day. For a lot of them, this be their first time playing two games in a day. Um, so it's just it's all gonna be new. Um, first thing I'm gonna tell them is please make sure you're listening to your coaches. We're not gonna try to steer you wrong. We're gonna try to make sure we put you guys in the best position to win. Man, we we gotta take it one thing at a time, one play at a time, one at bat at a time. Uh, and I'm not really gonna be focused on the second game. It's not even a thought right now. It's taking care of the first game, making sure we get that first win out of the way. Once we can get that first win out of the way, uh, kind of have some time to get ready for that second game. So if all goes according to plan, we'll have a little bit of a break. But if not, we'll still have about 10 or 15 minutes to get some water, a couple of little pieces of some minutes, and uh, get ready for the second game. But for right now, hey, welcome to Dodger Line. And then how are you feeling after last night? I'm feeling fine. I'm not really worrying about it right now. Uh, when I got looked at this morning, Doc says we all good. Uh, Vitals came back fine. Weighed in at 222 this morning, so uh, the goal was 225. We are definitely under. So uh, got about 12 more pounds I want to get down, and then that'll be second goal. After that, we'll be around 200, and then it'll be time to build back up with a little bit of muscle. But uh, for right now, feeling all right. Um, definitely try to get some more rest tonight, but we all good. All right, y'all. Josiah down here cleaning off his cleats. Look at him. How you feeling about the game, buddy? Good. You got any words for the vlog? Mm -mm. All right. Well, as I said, I'm about to go take a nap. I'll check in with y'all probably at the baseball field. We made it to the field, y'all. Very early. The game don't start for at least two hours, but we got good spots. Hubby is parked right next to me. We're right in front of our field, which is field eight. I feel better after that nap, but I feel like I also could have napped a little longer. I um, have a book that I'm gonna be reading. Um, water, snacks, and then there's a concession stand. So hopefully they have like hot dogs or something like that if I get hungrier, but yeah, I'm hoping that the Dodgers win their games. They won their first game, so it'd be cool if they could win these two as well. That put them, you know, in in a good start to the beginning of their season. But I'll check in a little bit later, closer to when the team is like together. Terry is aggravating. They getting ready to go practice in the batting cages. I'm reading a book. I'm finna sit over here and read. Game one is beginning. Playing against the homers. Look at Josiah over there.
Yeah, I know what angle to do. We're in inning two, score is six to three. Dodges are down by three. Inning three, score is six to five. Dodges are down by one. And this is game one of two today. Say hey now. <laughs> Top of the fourth. Um, Dodgers have nine. Homers have seven. Great job, Justin. Made it the first and someone made it the second. They won their second game. Final score is off the board, but it was 11 to 14. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, no. You're right. It's not. Let me see which one. They got to do the. It might be on four. Dang, we're going to have to move. No, they're both on field eight. They're both on field eight. Mm -hmm. So we're in the top of, he almost hit his coach with the ball. The coach had to go like this. <laughs> we're in the top of the second. The score is currently four to two. The Rays are up by two. It's all right, Landon, you got this. You can do it, Landon. Take your time. You got this. Strike there. All right. And there we go. Oh, coming, it's all right. So game two, um, it was a, was a 15 to 10? Yeah. 15 to 10. They did well. They did well. It was a double header. Was a double header. They did. The focus was a little off, but mm -hmm. they did well. Yeah. What's everybody? Uh, all right, everybody, listen up. We had a really good day today. Go, 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 go.
All right, guys. First game, we did pretty well. Uh, defensively, we got to make some improvements. Ground balls, we got to keep in front. Pop ups, we got to catch up top. And we got to make sure we are listening to instructions when they are given. Part of the mistakes that we made today was just not listening. And that's something we can fix. And that's somewhere you remember when I told y'all earlier this year, I need y'all to watch more baseball so we don't get bored while we're playing. If the ball's not hitting us, that still applies. I still need y'all to watch more baseball. We getting bored and we playing in the dirt. We kicking our shoes, we picking our flowers. We can't do that and be a successful team, guys. We got away with it in game one because we put the bat on the ball. Eli, stand up. Hey, man, Eli had a couple of home runs and a couple of triples today. Great job. You sitting at four home runs for the year already, and we threw three games. You got a couple of good triples. Very happy. Caleb, stand up. Clap it up for Caleb. Woo! Davis came through and led off with us today with an injured foot. Came in and played a great ball, caught us a couple of ground balls, played some good second base. Just give it up for him. Woo! Pop, stand up for me. Only spot I let Pops play all year is a circle. Pops got behind the plate, played great today. Play great. Great job. Kyler, stand up for me. Kyler had a home run today, man. Woo! You put the bat on the ball. Taylor, stand up for me. Hey, man. Good job. I can't ask for a better heartbeat for my team than number 17 right now, man. Every game, this kid comes out, smiles. He says, hey, coach, what can I do for you? I don't have to repeat nothing to him. I appreciate you, brother. Good hey, job. Hey, man, look who put the bat on the ball today. Great job. Stand up. Hey, man. It took us a minute, but we got the bat on the ball, dude. Great job. Hey, stand up for me. Hey, man. You playing some ball. You playing some ball. And you're going to be my shortstop up the middle for a long time. As long as you're willing to listen to me and play ball, that's your spot until you give it up. You understand? Keep stroking. Good job. Hey, get up. Hey, thank you for pulling it together today, man. We didn't start the way we wanted to, but you put the bat on the ball. You had a catch. You made some good plays. You played as a good teammate. Clap it up. Good job, Josiah. You're getting better, man. You're putting the bat on the ball. You're getting the ball down. We're doing good. You're going to keep working, too, now, all right? Clap it up. Come on, stand up for me, man. Hey, it took us a minute. We got our hits, right? We, we scored. We ran hard. We played well, right? We did good. I want you to keep your chin up when we play. You understand? Clap it up for Coleman. Good job, Coleman. Did we get a chance to clap it up for everybody today? Yeah, Riley. 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 Stand Riley. Stand up, stand up. Woo! I told you Monday that if you played catching, you was going to keep paying attention. I keep putting you back there, right? I'm going to keep putting you back there. Because you did good. You put the ball in play, you ran and you listened. Good job. Good job. Good job. Hey, is that everybody? Everybody got to stand up and clap it up? Hey. I told y'all Monday, this does not change. I still want to be the best eight-year-old team in this country. That don't change. Eli. One lock, Eli. I told, I clapped Eli up first. Yeah. I got Eli. 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 I got Hey, I told y'all, I still want to be the best eight-year-old team in the country. That don't change. One loss does Happy not change. Happy Sunday, y'all. So, like yesterday after the game, we went to Texas Row House. So today, I pretty much started with eating um, my leftovers from there and some zucchini I had cooked the other day. I'm not going to make breakfast casserole this week for breakfast. I think I'm going to boil like six to eight eggs and do toast with avocado and boiled eggs this week just to switch it up so I don't get tired of eating the same thing. And then as far as meal prep goes, tonight we're going to do a seafood pasta using shrimp. And the linguine or fettuccine noodles I had already made from last week. Maybe make some broccoli with it. And then when, on Friday night, I went to Aldi and I picked up three strip steaks and two pounds of lamb. 
and we have about 36 ounces of ground turkey so I'm probably gonna cook up that ground turkey tonight just to give me items to have for like lunch with like cilantro rice but we'll probably on the spot do like lamb gyros or non bread with lamb meat and like lettuce and stuff like that and then strip steaks and broccoli or zucchini but it's a payday friday we probably gonna end up stopping and getting food thursday or friday friday night i have plans after work so i don't want to pretty much spend all day sunday meal prepping stuff that may not get eaten and we had like leftover taco mac wings in there from thursday i think that was so you know didn't have a lot of room in the fridge so we're just trying to like kind of move out the stuff that we already have and then we'll cook as it goes so not very much meal prep today as far as the baseball game goes it was really fun to watch it was my second and third game too like watching and it kind of reminded me of when i watched josiah play basketball for the first time in that when it's your child out there you actually start to understand what's going on or at least you have a desire to understand what's going on but i also am starting to realize that i enjoy watching games better than i enjoy watching games on tv like seeing them in person up close it makes it a little bit more enjoyable i don't really care for watching sports on tv that much but i do like basketball um and i can understand basketball when i watch it on tv baseball is more understandable up close than it is on tv or when you go to a game and you can't really see like if you're sitting really really far out and you can barely see the field so yeah tomorrow's monday back to the normal routine yeah, so check in after game two and game three one game to 12 for uh 14 12 played really well had some mistakes 14 11. oh sorry 14 11. played game one yesterday um one 14 11. did really well uh hit the ball really well filled it pretty decently had some mistakes where we weren't listening um but for the most part we did good we got out to an early early lead and really never really had to take our foot off the gas. Had a couple of five run innings to where we maximized what we could score. And um, basically going into the last inning, we knew we couldn't lose because the most that the other team could put up was five. And even if they put up five, I was gonna give them 12. They weren't gonna beat us. Um, we only had 10 minutes in between the first game and the second game yesterday. Uh, we played an hour and 20 minutes full. So it's not like we run rule the team and had a break. We didn't have a break. Um, we came out, put up two runs in the first inning, but we gave up three. Uh, didn't score in the second and third inning. When we started scoring again, it was fine, but we were out of reach. We really couldn't catch them in a full inning where we could shorten that lead. Um, but the guys were tired. We had played a game. We were the only team yesterday that played a doubleheader for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, I think on a day where we're both playing a fresh team, my team wins hands down. Uh, I think we're just, some of the mistakes we made just are not made out of being tired. But again, that's growing pains and that's just baseball. It happens. Um, it was cool to have Jordan out there with me. My brother was with me yesterday. He was my third base coach and he took over my dugout for some of the second game. Um, my mom kept score yesterday, so it was dope. Coach Sam and Coach Rick were both extremely helpful yesterday. Yosha was really helpful because we, I ended up taking food for the kids to eat in between games, which was uh, lunch meat, chips, oranges, stuff like that. So that was helpful. Some of the other parents bought Gatorade, some brought water. So, uh, man, my team and my parents were really, really helpful yesterday. Uh, the loss was a little bit disappointing, but it was understandable because we had already played a game. Uh, going into this Saturday, we play at 9 a.m., which I'm sure for a lot of guys would be very different trying to get into the the atmosphere of playing the good thing is i think we hit first this weekend so i want to come out and put three or four runs on the board in the first inning we can max out at five and inning and put up 20 saturday i'd be very happy um starting to feel a little bit more confident where we're putting the guys with how we're rotating them um all the guys had a hit this weekend which was really cool because now i'm knowing that they're seeing the ball they're seeing the ball and pretty much the ball was hit to where everybody I think for the most part had a chance to be involved on the field. 
Uh, we got to work on attention span because they are getting bored, and that happens with kids because it's seven and eight year olds. This is gonna happen, but in the game, that's not what we can afford to do. If we uh, we're gonna hold trophies at the end of the year, it's just not something that's feasible. Um, new coaches shirts and parents shirts are coming soon, so uh, make sure y'all look out on Yosha's feed for that. I will have a new coaches shirt for myself, and my brother, as well as uh, Neff, my mom, Jordan, Yosha. We'll all have new shirts this weekend for the guys. We'll see from us. We'll see if the parents want to invest in jerseys for the guys. Um, and besides that, man, that's it. We we're three games in. Records two and one. I don't want to lose another game this season. I still want my guys to be the best eight-year-old team in the country. And uh, we're on the way. So welcome to Dodgerland. I have meal prepped. Two pounds of lamb. Thirty-six ounces of turkey. Also made some extra cilantro rice. <coughs> Keeping it real simple this week because I don't want to overdo it and have a bunch of food that we're not going to finish. So now I'm going to go edit.